Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in once again and I just have to say two things. One is I am currently on my new PC, meaning I am very happy. It's a very beefy, beefy, beefy machine. But also because I'm on my new PC, I had to reset up OBS and my mic settings. So my mic might sound a little different. I really hope it doesn't and please do let me know if there's any noticeable difference. I'll try and fix it. But just because it's a new PC, a lot of my old settings from OBS just didn't transfer the way I was hoping they would, and I had to kind of redo everything from scratch. And bear in mind, it took me literal years to get my microphone settings right on my old PC, so we're just going to have to just sort of wait and see. But anyways, we do have um, ourselves a new PC, which is, like I said... A very, very, very beefy machine. Meaning, I've been able to enable more mods. Not a ton more, granted, because the API of Isaac is still terrible, but quite a lot more. Um, meaning that uh, I was able to en enable a lot of smaller mods that I really like, like giant props and um, synergy mods, things like that. Anyways. Before this episode, I've decided one of the things I really wanted to do is I'm going to jump in as Tint, not Tinted Apollyon. That is the wrong goddamn character. My bad. Um... I wanted to jump in as regular Apollyon, wherever that lad may be. Uh, da, 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 regular Apollyon. And play as the champion version of him, because I got told about the champion version of this character. And he's very interesting. Starts with Voided Spin Down and Voided Crooked Penny. Oh, moves to pocket slot. So, basically, now... It's just really interesting. Now, whenever we void something... We either get nothing or get a duplicated version of the spin down version of that item. I mean, right now we of course ain't gonna do anything with this because that's amazing. Um, we're just gonna take that. We did get this though, which turns all of your heart containers into burn hearts filled with rotten hearts. Is that valuable too? Is I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Why not? I'm gonna do that. But yeah, Jacob's Ladder is obviously just a great item. But yeah, it's my first recording on the new PC. I I have to say, people, it is an absolute beast of a machine like it is so goddamn good it's it's kind of amazing um like i've been playing uh cyberpunk with ray tracing max settings um ray what is it ray tracing and path tracing literally everything absolutely the max settings it can go on pc's running at 180 fps doom eternal max settings all of that stuff pc is running at 350 FPS, Alan Wake 2, max settings, PC running at 140 FPS. It is just glorious. Now, I am actually noticing, one second, I'm going to pause here for a minute. There's a slight bit of visual clarity issue with Isaac. So I'm going to see if I can fix that, one sec. Okay, I'm back. I seem to have fixed it. Um, I had my monitor response time on the fastest possible response time, because I thought that was better, but apparently it's not. So I had to lower it a little bit um, because it was causing some ghosting. I was like seeing an after image um, and it, I've seen it on other games as well, but it seemed most prevalent on this game. Uh, I do have my gamma turned up a little bit. I think I'm going to lower that down a little bit now because um, I don't think I need it up. Yeah, that seems fine to me. Uh, maybe maybe a little brighter. Sorry, I, I mean, I'm going to be doing some tweaking for a little bit here. Um, while, while we get back into things, because it is, like I said, a whole new PC. Goddamn. Oh, it's been smexy. It's been the best. Building it actually wasn't that bad. I didn't actually build all of it myself. I um, I had some friends help. Um, one friend in particular, um, he's very much a techie in terms of like what he does for a job and stuff. So he found it pretty easy cabling everything. That's the bit that I found really hard. But I did build the motherboard pretty much myself. My girlfriend helped me a little bit, but I like put the uh, CPU in and... Oh, dude, this guy's... Wrecking my shit right now. Um, I did put the uh, the CPU in and put the thermal paste on and installed the heatsink and stuff. So I managed to do all that myself. I'm pretty proud of that. Um, but the cabling stuff I was usually absolutely unfathomably useless at. So I'm glad I had a friend around to uh, to help me out with that. Because uh, yeah, I would have been very slow on that. But then yeah, after that, getting everything set up was fine. I did have a bit of a hiccup with uh, the BIOS uh, updates. I kind of made a major, major error during that process. A, we get um, double rosary. Uh, although, oh, uh, we got one rosary. So is, is it sort of, hmm. It's a chance to get double or a chance to get nothing. I think that's the way it works. But still, rosary's 
pretty decent here. I'm going to go back and get one of those hearts real quick. Uh, and what, what we're looking at doing on this character, I think it's, it's um, Beast. Beast or Delirium, by the looks of it. So we got some options. we got some options. But yeah, I very much like this setup with this guy. I think we've already got Jacob's Ladder here, so we're doing pretty damn well already. Um, but I'm excited to see how, sort of how this goes. Oh, baby. A Planetarium. I mean... First, first day back on the recordings, and the game is in love with me. Jacob's Ladder and a Planetarium, I mean, can you do much better than that? But yeah, I really like this idea of this uh, champion uh, style. I, just, I, I love Risk Reward, and Crooked Penny is a great Risk Reward. And more opportunities for you to spin down is great. Obviously, it's quite powerful. But it, the, the whole point of these characters are for people that have done their completion marks, they have their dead god. They're meant to just be a bit of different fun. So I, I really don't have any qualm with, with the, the powerful, like, how powerful it is. Because it's not really meant to be done for completion marks at all. I mean, I've mentioned that before. Okay, we are looking for two keys here. You know the game's going to give me none, don't you? That's just the way this game goddamn works. But yeah, uh, frame rate feels really good in the game. As I said, API limitations do mean I can't just install all the mods and it'll run better, because that's just not how Isaac works, sadly. But it has definitely improved my performance a little bit. Um, come on, game. We need some keys, please. Look, Penny's kind of nice, though. But yeah, so far, keys aren't looking too hot. I do not like that. I'll try and get these guys with those. Lovely. Secret room's looking to be up there, but I don't know, because that, that should have hit it, right? It looked like it should have done, at least. But yeah, getting everything reinstalled and set up was a bit annoying. I did actually ring my uh, internet service provider and managed to get a massive boost to my internet speeds for very little extra cost, because I was on, like, a really old deal. So I was able to reinstall everything at 750 download and upload. Come on, game. Y you're not going to seriously cook me out of all these keys, are you? Okay, at least I got one. Planetarium it is to start with, because higher chance at a good item, but also we could get Mars, but then again, we can void it and potentially spin it down, or double it, or whatever. Um, there is there is options here. Uh, do you know what? I'll open that as well for a potential chance at a different key. Um, I will do this. I will grab that. Right, Planetarium, what do you hold for us? Jupiter! <laughs> it spins down into Mars! No! <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, God. Grants a permanent... Pedestal items grant a permanent unique wisp based on the quality of the item consumed. What does it mean by permanent? Does it mean as in it can't die? Hmm, okay. I've got... I can't believe it spins down into Mars. Jupiter into Mars. That's just gross. Ooh, ooh. That's a very, very good trinket. One of my favourites, actually, so... I'll very much be taking that, thank you. Um, okay. I'm going to kind of see how this goes. Because, yeah, Jupiter, not one of the ones I was looking for. But it spins down to fucking Mars. That's just gross. It's just kind of meme. Right, I think Secret Room is here. I think it just missed. Yeah, it did, unfortunately. Ah, you bugger. You're not even any use to me. Second secret room. I don't exactly know where second secret room could be, but we've got some bombs to work with here. Let's take a little look over this way. Okay, so it's not here. Uh, let's do the boss first and see what we end up getting. Good old griddle horn. I'm liking having the rotten heart there. Ooh. He's created a spicy little pattern there. Yeah, Jacob's Light's good. We're going to get only items that give damage up. So the good thing is... There's plenty of items that give damage up as well as something else. It's not just damage we're getting. So we are going to get potential tears. We are going to get potential HP. We are going to get potential range or whatever. There's other items that give damage and and other stats. So we're not locked into only getting damage, which could be bad. I mean, I'm guessing that um, there's some sort of weird thing with this where it doesn't work on the first floor you pick it up, because that ain't damage. Um, latch key. Let's do it. I got one latch key there. Oh, wait! Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It still gives you stats when it voids things. This is, this is very powerful. <laughs> 
This is very powerful. Anyways, let's go take Jupiter, I guess. Ugh. So I I'm a little confused if you can actually get a doubled spin down. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I guess we're taking Jupiter, which it, it is heart containers, I guess. It's kind of nice. Uh, plus two. It heals you half a heart for some reason. Let's play this guy a little bit. We did get a black room, which I'll take with me, I guess. Bit of Jupiter. We never got a key. Oh, no, we did get a key for our item room. I'm stupid. So we'll see if we want to void that. We're a bit of a chunker right now. Um, didn't actually mean to spend that there, but we've spent it now, so... Oh, we can't even... Wait a minute. Well, we got... What is this? Bob's heart trails behind Isaac and explodes uh, upon contact with an enemy. Ugh. I guess <laughs> this is a bit of a weird, bit of a weird one with Jupiter and this this thing going on. But I don't know. I can accept it. I can get down. Spent way too much resources on that there, but hey, her and away we go. I guess. Right. Let's grab both of those. And this, this is actually working now. It tells us what curse we're going to get next floor. Very, very nice. We can actually kind of pick and choose which trapdoor we go down based on the curse. We can try to avoid things like Curse of the Blind if we have the option to. Jupiter isn't all that bad. It's just a little shitty. <laughs> you get it. Okay. And we've got this uh, black rune here for whenever we want to use that. But it's good to be back on Isaac. I haven't recorded Isaac in quite a number of days because of uh, building my PC. It's been like, what, like five days since I recorded Isaac? It's been a little while. Perthra? Perthra is probably better to hold right now. I like our little rosary that we've got on us as we're chonking about. It's kind of lovely. <laughs> but yeah, as for the question of the day, as for the question of the day, what would be your dream, like, tech to build? If you could, like, build your own PC or your own, I don't know, gaming system or whatever, what would be your dream, like, sort of setup? It doesn't have to be gaming related, but something tech. I think that'd be rather interesting. Golden key, that's definitely good when we ain't got no keys. Right, so we got... We don't know what we're getting here. Let's just do this and see. Okay, so we got nothing that time. We would've got sad onion. We got nothing. So there is a chance you get nothing. So I think, I'm guessing the way it works is there's a chance you get nothing, there's a chance you get one item and a stat increase, or there's a chance you get two items and no stat increase. That's how I'm thinking it works, but I'm not entirely sure. That makes sense in my head. Oh, dude, this, this Bob's heart thing is, uh, it's pretty tragic. I'm not liking it. I am not liking it right now. It's going to hurt me quite a bit, I think. I mean, I suppose what I can do is, like, get it into position like that. And hope to use it there. I mean, I might as well check in here, see what's going on. There's a soul heart that we probably would be a, would be a good idea to grab. Oh, secret room. Hello. There you go. we got some batteries going on. Okay. Had to give it a go. Oh, dude, no. Come on now. <laughs> Bit sad. Okay, let's keep this going. I, th this is going to be a run that could go tragically wrong, I've got to say. We've got to see. Hey, cell hearts are back as well. I'm pretty sure I disabled those previously for some unknown reason. And they are back in all of their mighty, mighty glory. Get out of here, you. 
These mushroom guys are taking, getting taken down as well. We'll get a damage upgrade boss item this floor as well, I'm pretty sure. Extra penny there as well, lovely. Oh god, that was kind of close. I'm just going to keep firing because Jacob's Ladder will hit him. Also, my mini Isaacs are doing a, a bang-up job of hitting him, to be honest. And of course, he walked into my bomb, and it does a full heart of damage. And I got a tears down. This is all going so well. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely stuff. I'm feeling it. Oh, what the hell? It's tailless Chub. What, what happened to Chub's tail? Really? You're not going to explode on this guy? There you go. I don't know what this other thing following me is. This should be a damage up. Hey, it's a very good damage up. Good stuff. Right. Uh, Black Rune, I think I'm going to leave at this point, I guess, sadly. Right. Downeth we go. Um, also, one second. Just changing my hood offset. Yeah, that's better. Uh, actually, I can, I can probably put it on max, to be honest. There you go. Cool. Just because I'm um, on a 1440p monitor now, so it changes things a little bit. I think we're doing beast, aren't we? I think. I don't really remember. We'll work it out. Okay, we're on a wet floor as well, so Jacob's Ladder does even better now. Got a key straight away. I'm very happy about that. Crab coming our way. Dude, the bombs are going to get me absolutely wrecked. Oh, yes. The golden coin mod actually works now. That's awesome. Stephen Floor. Mighty tempting, my lad. Mighty tempting. Yeah, the game just feels a lot better. It's just running so smooth. I very much like it. Yeah, we can do this look with the extra range on Jacob's Ladder. It's very, very nice. Pop in here and see. Uh, I can bomb you. I could get hell from you, which I probably need, but I could also bomb you. Right, what would be our next? I am going to be using the spin down thing, uh, like my void, quite a lot, by the way. Um, I am going to take gambles. Unless the item is, like, really just very good already, I'm going to take gambles quite a lot with it. Um, I feel it is worth. I feel it's, it's kind of always worth using on a shop as well. Ooh, hello. Um, blanket is just worth grabbing. Honestly, both of them are just worth grabbing. I was I was just going to use it on the shop here, but like all of this is just worth buying, isn't it? What does this trinket do? Oh, it's very good, but we have we have a very very good setup right now. But they were two pretty good items. Blankets just a soul heart and some extra safety in the bosses, which is always useful. I love Jacob's Ladder on a wet floor. Man, it's beautiful. Oh, we got a token there. We'll uh, leave that there for now and see if we can make use of it down the line. I don't really know on what exactly. Uh, let's do our boss. Got wet boy. I don't... One thing I'm unsure of as well, actually, is... Um, I'll try and do it after this fight. Is You can see that my text at the bottom there for... Um, What's it called for the my, the room's names? It's just massive, and I don't know why. I don't know why the scale of that is so off right now. I need to see if I can reduce the size of that or disable it or something, because at the minute it's a little distracting. It's covering the boss bars and stuff. Nice. These aren't getting voided anytime soon. Although, chalky, chalky milk. Right, let's hold off for a second. Mustard seed. Very good. Ah, that fucking dude. It's worse than Bob's brain, this, in by a large degree. Worse than Bob's brain by a massive degree. I can't get used to the fact that it exists. Perthra. And void? Ah, you fuck. You absolute fuck. 
Damn it. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to be taking risks a lot. Hmm. Trying to think of anything that would be super, super valuable to use that token. Oh, wait. It's technically not the last thing we picked up. I don't remember. It's the last thing we picked up. Um, a soul heart. I'm going to gamble. I, I don't think it is, but I'm going to try it. Ah, it was a penny. Bollocks. <laughs> Damn it. I thought it was one of those soul hearts. My bad. My bad. Right, I can save myself a key here, I guess. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And I guess I'll take the devil card as well, thank you. Very much, sir. But yeah, if there's any other mods that aren't too, like, lag-intensive that people want me to enable, please do let me know in the comments, because there's a ton that I don't have on at the minute that I probably could do to re-enable and test out. My new PC should be able to handle them reasonably well. Okay. Let's keep it going. We don't have the money to go down to thingy floor now. There's nothing in here for us to see as the... Nope. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving and grooving, people. Yeah, I think, I think we've got a good setup now. I'm just hoping we can get some more players on our... Uh, on our void and get some cool stuff working. Okay. And um, Mustard Seed plus Jacob's Ladder, I believe will trigger on an arc of electricity, meaning we could Mustard Seed many, many things at the same time, which is kind of exciting. Soul Heart there we can't reach, sad times. Bunch of stuff here. Um, yeah, I'll go for this. Oh, you... No, you broke our stupid thing. It tr It did it again! It triggered on the goddamn moving block. I didn't think that would happen. Come on now. Stupid thing. Right, just get some shots out there. Get the electricity going. Hope that it kills... Both of these are worth, I think. I don't know if they're programmed to always have a nickel in them, but... Rather nice. Oh, no spikes now. Good. Good stuff, but yeah, it feels good to be back on Isaac, man. Feels good. Oh, one of my babies died. Don't they give... Oh, okay, they do give a half soul heart if they die, though, so... It's not all bad. But yeah, I was going to change my setting, wasn't I? Let go. Fiend Folio... Uh, settings, custom fortunes, hood, four small. There we go, I fixed it. Nice one. Awesome. You got that back to its regular size now and not in the way. Don't need that red heart. Sack room, I'm not going to play that right now. Feels weird to be so chunky and not be super, super slow. Also, my items like appearing in my body are really glitched out at the minute. I don't know if that's something to do with me, how I've reinstalled the game or not, but it doesn't seem to be very normal right now. Oh, that was a good hit, sir. I didn't, I didn't expect you to reach quite as far as you did there. The hell is that? Taking damage charms all enemies in close range. Ooh. Cool trinket. The sweet pack is such a good trinket pack. If you're not using sweet pack, by the way, go check it out. It's a, new, it's a new trinket pack that came out recently that's very good. I made him eat a bomb. Just gonna quickly go back and grab uh, one of those red hearts up here. Nope, not one of them ones. I'm not. Okay, it doesn't matter. Ignore me. Technically, I could do this and it should work, actually. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Okay, I'll use another bomb. Wasn't really worth it for what I paid, but it's happened now. It is what it is. Why is there so many of these guys in this floor? Come across a lot of these Bernie boys.
Okay. We got Sucker, um, which I think, I think is fine, yeah. Some more cell hearts, lovely. That's close. One of my babies died on top of that. Also, Chub. There's like Chub in like every second room right now. What's going on with Chub? Um, oh, Blood Puppy. Oh, you fucker. Every time it's a cool item, it's like, nah. Steal your enjoyment away from you. That ain't working for me right now. Oh, this is another cube of meat as well. God damn it. No way I can get a charge either, is there? I'll, I'll play around and see if I can get one, but I don't think there is any way I can get one. Honestly, just pop this. I'm not taking a goddamn cube of meat. <sighs> Gotta say, not particularly enthused with this run right now. Like, it's good. We've got some really good stuff, but the last few floors have been a bit tragic. Right, so... Hmm. We can get three charges from this room here. Which is good enough, I guess. We might be able to get a charge from the cash room as well. Half red heart here. Grab that, so we don't lose our burn heart. Hope the cash room has combat, which I'd say, like, you've got a solid 50-50 chance of combat in the cash room. If not, hope for a secret room that has battery or an enemy. Damn it. Telepill saved me half a heart, I guess. Um... Got those bombs as well. Right, secret room, secret room. Where art thou? Not not there. Could be down over here. Looks like it could be there. Secondary check, it looks like it could be there. There you go. And there's combat. Yes, baby. We got the charge. Lovely. We got the charge, and we got an additional burn heart as well. Very good, very nice. Okay. Now we can go back and we can get another rosary. Or potentially get another rosary, I say. All that goddamn work. All that goddamn work, and you. Oh, you take it away from me. Crooked Penny, you are a cruel, cruel mistress. I am a slave to you, but goddamn. It's kind of weird, because this run's like... The Crooked Penny's barely done anything. <laughs> like, what have we Crooked penny so far? We got Latch Key from Crooked Penny, and we got... Um... I think we've only got Latch Key so far from Crooked Penny. This is sad. The way life goes sometimes, though, I guess. You don't always get what you want. Ooh, ooh this is an interesting room. So basically, oh, okay. Okay, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, you bastard. All we gotta do is get Skatol, and we can Skatol reroll. And I like the idea behind that. The only thing is, he only he only reveals Skatol like one fifth of the time or less. He's paying out like not at all at the moment. That's pretty good. There he is, there he is, there he is. You fucker! 
Give me that scatol, baby. I will go deep, deep on this guy. To get me my scatol. Middle's not working for me, I'm gonna go right. Not that it has any difference. Come on, boy. The payouts here are disgusting. He is not, he is not paying out at all. And he's not showing Skatol very often either. This is, this is abysmal. Come on now. Finally. Okay, we got Skatol. Skatol reroll. Killing enemies grants you... Okay, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. Good amount of tears there. Luck Penny as well to boot. Lovely. Why is there locks up in the middle there? I guess it's for the room reward, yeah. Key for a key if you really want to go that way. Gimme, gimme. The increasing speed throughout through kills on rooms is kind of nice, actually. Right. Number one. Okay, good, good, good. We got that. Now we've just got to get another charge. My reflection is good. Cricket's head is much better. You know the game wouldn't absolutely destroy me by not giving me Cricket's head, don't you? It's got to. It's simply too good. Didn't mean to open that, but... Hello there. This is Dank Depths 2. I've not seen my uh, my skull either yet. I should, be, should have been looking out for that. Should have been look there it is. Here's my skull. What you got for a shop? Ceiling with the stars. My shops have been pretty bad recently in terms of like the layouts. Not been getting very good layouts in my shops at all. Right, keep it going, move along. And we'll pop in through here. Oh my god. Hmm. We could get flat stern, I guess. Cricket's head, here I come, baby. You know. You know you gotta give me it. I have worked too, too hard. Too hard for you to disrespect me like this and not give me what you owe me. I have worked far too hard. I want to kill myself. God damn it. Ugh. This character is like has the potential to be so good and for me it's sucking big fat booty hole. It's just ass. <laughs> I'm not getting any good uh, any good players on Crooked Penny at all. All of them have just been useless. Ugh. The gambler's life is not not a good life, but it is the life I choose. Um, doesn't matter which one of these I take. Hello, Devil Deal. When entering a hostile room, uh, the enemy with the highest HP will be marked. Killing the enemy grants two damage up for the room. If an enemy is a boss, the damage persists between rooms will slowly fade. That sounds pretty interesting. I'll take that. Um, and we'll full card our way out. And I guess we'll get going. Right, we've got like one more chance for spin down to really show us what it's worth. Crooked spin down, whatever you want to call it. Crooked spin down. You got one more chance to shine. Uh, 
I mean, the run's good. That, that's the thing. The run is, like, pretty good. I barely know what's going on right now. But I don't like it. It's kind of horrible. It's weird, like, from rooms now, we can- we get tears up. Um, tears up, speed up, and damage up. And then we lose it all and we move to the next room. Okay. Keep it moving. You can be a massive- whoa, hello. Hello there, biggest boys. Ooh, Monstrous Tooth. Smart Fly, yay! Oh god. Spin down. Why you gotta be this way? Also, these room designs have been evil. <laughs> I'm getting really screwed over by the room designs. Oh my god. That reminds me, I should probably reinstall Battlefield 2042 on this PC, because I think it'll look kind of amazing. But I can't even remember what launcher I have it on. EA launcher, maybe? Do I have EA launcher? I don't remember. I'm guessing it is the EA launcher. I might do that after I've re re recorded this video, you know. Because apparently, like... Battlefield 2042's got like a massive resurgence in player count, and it's actually like pretty goddamn good now. Which, I don't know how much validity there is to that, but I've seen a lot of people playing it. The player count has been like, has, has risen to like 100,000 plus concurrent, which is like, wild. Because the game came out in a really sorry state, so... Maybe it'd be interesting to get back into that game, and yeah. Basically, now, like, so many games, like, I played some of the Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 campaign, sorry. I pre-ordered it because I'm a sap. Um, really shouldn't have done, but... I like the multiplayer. I'm gonna play the multiplayer. Simple as. Um, so... Good old big telepills. Why can't I open this up? What does the big telepills do? Okay, nothing. It just set me back ages. I was like, maybe it'll take me straight to the error room and that'll cause some weird shenanigans. No. No, it won't. Right, back we go. At a low, low speed. Oh, we should probably go to the shop and try and get one last void. I just want one time the void on the shop to actually work. One time! Also, what is going on with my game right now with the sprites and stuff? Clearly, clearly something to do with reinstalling all my mods has has balked up something royal, because you can see, like, my sprites on my body are all messed up, um, and whatever the fuck Monstro was doing in that room isn't, like, yeah, that clearly isn't supposed to be a thing that happens. I don't even know what was going on there, so, yeah, there's some, there's some shenanigans. There's some serious shenanigans going down. Now, I don't think we can get another opportunity until the actual mum, uh, floor, until, until home. To, uh, to utilize Void again, which is a little bit of a shame. We are going to blitz through these floors. I'm just a little worried about my current HP, but... Kind of is what it is at this point. We've got to deal with it. If anyone knows what's going on with my sprites, let me know, because I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? I am going to just quickly go and hood offset what... Uh, is one enough? I'm gonna do two, I think. There you go. Just because some things were slightly off screen. Oh, uh, nice. We get this two damage that slowly fades. It seems to very slowly fade, actually. It's kind of nice. I love that mod, the consistent, um, consistent lights. Shut up. 
don't even really know why I did this, but I just want to quickly check something. What does what does this do? Ah, uh, doesn't really do much for us. Because that trinket right now is pretty useless, right? Did a good job during going through the levels. Oh, another HP up. Yeah, this damage up this damage up fade is very slow. We might actually be able to stack quite a lot of damage before the fight, you know. Although, I don't know if it just disappears at the end of the floor. Oh no, it, it stays through. It stays through. Yeah, there's gonna be nothing any of these. What pills is that? Mini Isaacs? I'll grab it. I fucking walks around the spikes, why don't I? You know what? It's a room to bomb out of. Don't want to deal with you, big chunker. And I say, this damage up stacks from bosses. These last few floors, there's a lot of bosses. You are insane. Just no way I wasn't going to get hit there. Unfortunately, a burn heart is gone. We've got some godhead going on there. Why are they running away so much? Oh, it's the fear, I think, actually. Smart Flower's doing some good stuff there, though. You've got Vasculitis going. I see. Cheeky bugger. Bye, Zs. No! How did I not get hit there? Wow. I do not know. I just wanted to escape and smart fly, or Bob's, Bob's heart, I think, actually did it. Nice heart there. Stop from losing that burn heart. We've still got some of this damage look. This is what I'm saying, like how insane this was. We might want to do all the floors in these rooms, you know. All the rooms on this floor, sorry. Other way around. To find more bosses. Holy shit, this thing is taking a long time to die. Got a rune rock there. Nice. So there's a boss. Do more of that sweet, sweet damage. Is there any more bosses about that you can give us? No, just annoying ass enemies. That will hit me. And have a ton of HP. Oh, come on now. I was really hoping this would be a good idea. And it has very much not been. Okay, I'll give up on that idea. Hematemesis was not good there. Oh boy. That was a very, very bad hematemesis. Okay, I'm going to have to do the rest of the rooms to try and get my health back. Because that hematemesis screwed me big style. I mean, the bed will heal me, so I could just leave, but... I suppose there's a chance for bosses as well, so... Oh, of course I lost a burn heart. God damn it. I should have just fucking left while I had the chance. Ugh. I'm a goofball. Right, anyways. Let's get in that goddamn bed. And see if we can make this work with the HP that I have, which... Eh. Okay, we're not even on the right floor yet, so... More fool me, I guess. I thought we were done. Okay, this guy's an absolute pain. But having fear on him is nice, though. I like that. He's a bit of a nightmare, otherwise. 
Come on, no bosses. What a boss is that? This guy creates little ghosties. Which should hopefully just die among the detritus of all the other shots we fire, but you never know. Okay, we've got some bosses here. Good old triple pin. And this guy as well, and a soul heart, nice. Okay, I lost that soul heart immediately to a shot I didn't even see, so... All good in the hood on that regard. Pin him against the wall. Nice. What was that? When entering a room, random enemy will be crippled and it's gold as well, so we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay. Not... Things aren't looking super hot here, but... We'll just go and see how things progress. Oh, wow. The fuck? Monstro? Did I gulp Monstro's tooth at some point into my void? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Why is there always spicy keys in there now? I swear, like, every single time the spicy keys in there now. I'm not quite sure what that's about. That's good. That's good. Right. Let's just see how this goes. Thanks. Thanks, Bob's heart. That's what I was hoping to happen the moment this started, you know. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> this is not going well, is it? Oh lord. Don't do the spinnies, please. But that that bomb didn't go in, in anywhere where I wanted it to. Dude, what's going on with bombs? Why, they're just like sitting next to me rather than being pushed. Bob's heart. Okay, I think this is over. Bob's heart has... Screwed me. Ah, oh, you fucking spinny, winny little shithead. Oh, god damn it. Okay. It's all over. That run was trash. Like, it had some really good elements to it, but uh, it just did not work out for me with that, um, with that crooked penny plays. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. It was all the fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.